So now let, let's look at uh, the pom.xml file, right? So which got generated when we uh, created our Hello World project in Maven inside the IntelliJ idea, ID. So when you uh, use something like IntelliJ, it has already called Maven uh, configured, Maven plugin configured in it. So when you create a Maven project, uh, it directly creates this pom.xml file by default, right? Uh, with the group ID artifact ID and version, which you entered while creating the project. But uh, if you are creating, say for example, a Java project and not a Maven project, so you need to add this pom.xml uh, by yourself. So you need to add this XML file and then you need to enter all this information, project information to make it a valid Maven project, right? So let's look at different parts of this XML file. So at the beginning, as you see, it's the XML information, the project information, which is there, uh, which is outside the project, but still it's part of the Maven project, right? So it defines some Maven project. Then uh, the group ID, so it represents your uh, application or your company organization, right? So it represents the domain uh, of your organization or your application. So as you see it on the web, ad web address, it's quite similar to that. So you can follow this convention and it can be anything, but by uh, if you follow the norms, then you should be uh, entering something which is meaningful in group ID, right? So it should represent something, something like your domain name, which you have uh, acquired for your application, for your website or for your company. Then artifact ID, uh, it's the same name as the application or the project name, so which you have created. So in our case, it, it was hello world, right? And the version, uh, so it can be anything, 1.0, 2.0 uh, or uh, snapshot. So it represents how you are doing your releases, your project releases. So you, need, you can name the version as it is. So it can be 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. So depending on, the, on your uh, releases, you can name these versions uh, like those. So once you release them, um, it could be a snapshot version. So, which means it is under development. And if it's a 1.0, that means it's completely released. So that is the same thing when you look at other uh, dependencies which are already released. Uh, for example, JUnit or TestNG. If you're adding a dependency, you will see there are different versions. There are snapshot versions, there are released versions. So that's the difference between uh, the snapshot and the release versions of the pom.xml file, right? So this is all about uh, the structure of pom.xml. So uh, as we saw that Maven is a more conventional, conventional than, um, than you, you are declarative. That means you follow this convention of pom.xml and you don't need to declare your own stuff in this, right? So you just follow the convention and Maven will take care of the rest of the things.